In 2000, Jay Barham was 17 years old when he met Linda, a divorced mother of two. A couple from Hardcourt, Essex bonded over their mutual love of music while taking driving lessons. Linda, 72, was labeled as a kid snatcher since she has a son who's the same age as Jay, 39. The couple married on July 31, 2001 and claimed to be more in love than ever. When Jay and his father, Stephen, go out, Linda is frequently mistaken for Jay's mother. Despite family and friends' predictions that their marriage wouldn't continue, a loving husband and wife who married when he was 17 and she was 51 are poised to celebrate nearly two decades of marriage. Despite their startling 31-year age gap, teen Jay Barham and divorced mother of two, Linda, both of Hardcourt, Essex, fell head over heels in love in 2000. Linda, who is 12 years older than Jay's mother and has a kid the same age as him, was teaching him how to drive when the two shared a surprise kiss. After a rapid affair that stunned many of their close friends and relatives, the couple married the following year. Despite their startling 31-year age gap, teen Jay Barham and divorced mother of two, Linda, both from Hardcourt, Essex, fell head over heels in love in 2000. In July, Jay, now 36, and Linda, 69, will celebrate their 18th wedding anniversary, and both say they're more in love than ever. Linda has been dubbed a child snatcher, and I've been branded as a grandma basher. Jay explained. We've been called names on the street and people occasionally mistake her for my mother. However, we don't give a damn what other people think. We've been married for a lot longer than most people and we're still very much in love. Jay, 36, and Linda, 69, who were married in July 2001, will celebrate their 18th wedding anniversary in July and both say they're more in love than ever. When Jay first met council youth worker Linda, he was a trainee youth worker. During driving lessons, she offered him and they shared love of music. The couple claims they were instantly drawn and bonded. She was helping me learn to drive for eight weeks, Jay continued. Then one day, a song started playing and we kissed. I can't remember for the life of me, but it had to be Elton John since he's our favorite. It had been absolutely unacknowledged up until that moment, but it was as if the sun had just come out and it was a shock to both of us. Before taking Linda out on a date, Jay, who had three previous serious relationships, needed three days to recover from the shock of the kiss. Linda was anxious about her affections for a boy the same age as her son Simon at the time. I just thought, this is wrong, she explained. I was miserable. But I'd been divorced for five years and my children were all grown up and I knew it was time. The thought of the connection startled Linda's children, Alan, 13, and Simon, 17, but they agreed that as long as mom's happy, nothing else matters. Alan, then 13, and Simon, then 17, were shell-shocked by the romance and eventual marriage, but determined that as long as mom is happy, nothing else mattered. Jay's parents, who were more than a decade younger than his new partner, dismissed the relationship as a fad. They were fine with it, Jay explained. They just thought, oh, well, it'll last if it lasts. We were more concerned about my grandmother's reaction, but she was wonderful. Despite the opinions of skeptical friends who believed the relationship would never work out, Jay and Linda married eight months after meeting in July 2001. Linda was teaching Jay to drive when the two shared a surprise kiss, which led to their falling in love. Linda has a son the same age as Jay and is 12 years older than his mother. We got married on Friday the 13th at Colchester Registry Office, and everyone advised us that we shouldn't because it was an unlucky day, Jay explained. Then my suit didn't fit, our car broke down, the ring didn't fit, and I just wear trackies and a blouse, she says. We were happy to take the bus to the wedding, but our relatives stepped in and helped out, Linda added. Jay and Linda have worked together at Asda Bakery for the most of their married lives and are now opening a small cafe near their house. Jay and Linda, shown in Las Vegas in 2009, have worked together at an Asda Bakery for most of their married lives and are now planning to build a small cafe near their house. Linda stated at first that she was apprehensive about her affections for a boy her son Simon's age. Jay's mother, Valerie, who died in 2014, was 12 years Linda's junior, yet the two remained inseparable. Linda and my mother got along swimmingly. There were no issues, he claimed. My father and Linda get along so well that he refers to her as the daughter we never had. We all go on vacation together and are really close. Onlookers frequently mistake Jay's father, Stephen, and Linda for his parents, according to Jay. On Friday the 13th, the pair married in Colchester Registry Office, despite everyone telling them that they shouldn't because it was an unlucky day. Of course, people constantly believe I'm their child and they're my parents, he explained, but we just joke about it. It's understandable, different people have different questions, 
but I've never considered my age. Instead, I focus on the lady I adore. Even though strangers have said awful things to them on the street, the pair claims that they're unconcerned about their wide age gap. Their car windows have even been shattered in what they believe to be an attempt on their marriage. Even though strangers have said awful things to them on the street, the pair claims they're unconcerned about their wide age gap. We just got on with it, Jay explained. Even if people frown on it now, when people ask how many divorces I've had, I always respond by asking how many they've had. Most marriages end in divorce, regardless of age. Linda believes that it's hypocritical to judge older women more harshly than older men with youthful companions. If it's a man, you're doing well for yourself, she reasoned. But if it's a woman, you're disgusting and it's frowned upon. We're just in love with one another. We're not doing this for the fame or the money. We're just in love with each other and think about each other. Linda was still able to have children when the couple initially married, but Jay was never interested in being a father. I've never wanted to be a father. I'm one of those people that keeps their toys to themselves, he explained. I'm just not a parent. I'd rather have grandchildren because I get to give them back. Linda has seven grandchildren, ranging in age from four weeks to 18 years. I regard every day as my last, so there's no point in thinking about numbers, Jay explained. I treat every day as my last, so there's no point in worrying about statistics. For me, the most good aspect of being married to an older woman is the civility, being able to express thoughts without being pushed down. We've adjusted our lifestyles for Linda's age, so instead of walking 10 miles, we take a vehicle ride. They may have changed some elements of their lives, but they haven't changed anything in the bedroom. When Jay first met Linda, he wasn't a virgin, and he represented himself as well-experienced. According to Jay, the key to a great marriage is just liking one another and spending a lot of time together. They've adjusted several elements of their lives, but Jay claims they haven't changed anything in the bedroom. You don't stop having sex because you're 65, he explained. I don't know why people think you lose your sexual urge at 50, she says. According to Jay, the key to a happy marriage is just liking one another. Everything is done collectively, he remarked. The only thing we fight about is the cat, and even then we never go to bed until we've worked it out. Linda Barham's mobility chair was stolen recently, which was a heartbreaking tragedy for the pair. Linda Barham, age 72, has spent the last four years at the Rosebank Park Assisted Living Facility on Main Road in Harwich. She resides there with her spouse of 20 years, Jay Barham, 38, who describes the facility as a wonderful environment most of the time. Linda, who has a deteriorating spine and struggles to walk, awoke on Friday to discover her prized mobility scooter had been stolen. She hadn't used it since the beginning of July due to illness, so she'd parked it in the facility's dedicated buggy room. However, when she and Jay went to get the scooter so they could finally utilize it, it had been inexplicably vanished. Her scooter was taken from the buggy room, Jay explained, which pretty much sums up my life right now. Linda's upset because she doesn't go out very often, but when she does, it offers her a sense of independence. I feel bad for her since her spine is crumbling and she needs to use a scooter or a wheelchair. About 10 years ago, she had an operation to try to cure it, but it was unsuccessful, and there's nothing else doctors can do. Frustrated, Jay chastised those who stole his wife's scooter and urged One Housing, which manages Rosebank Park, to do more to assist them in locating it. As I grow older, I'm increasingly dissatisfied with humanity and the lack of empathy displayed to others, he added. Rosebank Park is a beautiful sight, but when something goes wrong like this, they don't seem to notice. If they tried, they couldn't be more unhelpful. Rosebank Parks take security seriously, Jane Harding, regional general manager for Rosebank Park, said. Our mobility scooter room is accessible with a key fob and covered by CCTV, which we examined as soon as we learned the scooter was taken. While such incidents are thankfully rare, if any of our clients are victims of crime or antisocial behavior, We'll do everything we can to assist them. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.